All right, so today I'm going to be talking about how Beyond Trust Password Safe Solution can help you manage Cisco Identity Services Engine, also known as Cisco ISE or Cisco ICE. So first, I'm going to log in here on the Cisco side and show you what accounts we're going to be talking about. So I'm logging in with my admin credentials. And I don't have anything in this environment. It's just an eval, but I do have accounts created. And there's two different types of accounts. We have under the administrative info, the administrative section, we have this admin access section. And then under there, there's these administrator accounts. And there you can see, let me just zoom in here. There's the admin user that I logged in with. I have an API admin i have a managed account and i have a test account and you see they are different varying permissions based on the requirements and another section where the accounts are located within cisco ice is under this administration section and then there's these identities now i am not a cisco ice administrator i am a beyond trust engineer so my limited knowledge of Cisco ICE. I apologize if I misspoke or misspeak on anything. But as far as I'm aware, these accounts are for strictly API access and commands. Cisco does not provide access to the CLI for these commands, so you can't log in to um, the web interface with these accounts. And the only way I've found to change and rotate these passwords is through the API, and that's just for these accounts. And going back to the first set of accounts that we looked at, the admin access, password safe can change and manage the passwords of these accounts without using the API. We do this all over the CLI with the, the Cisco system and what's using called our custom platforms. And I'll show you what it looks like on the password safe side here now. And then we'll jump into the back end to see what it looks like there. Now moving over to the password safe side, I'm going to log in here. And for password safe, we're first going to start with that web application getting users access to that test application or, or the web interface and so we have a couple accounts here we have my that's the ip address of my cisco system and there's that test account that we looked at if you remember i'll just go back over to the cisco side so this test account matches this test account under the actual admin user section and so what I'm going to do there is just select the account. And there you can see I have a couple of options. I can, of course, retrieve the password, view it, and copy and paste it and do what I need to do with it. But you can disable these options for the end user to where they just have this application session. And they can click on this. It'll download them a just-in-time RDP access session. <laughs> And there you see it logs that user in as their Cisco profile for the website, depending on what permissions they have. And I can just zoom out here. And there you see we can go back. That's the same interface. Uh, check for this test user, their admin access, their admin users. There they are, that test user. Now we're going to take a look at that test account within the system to see how it's configured. So you see here I have my dot 200 Cisco ICE system here. And we're just going to take a look at the advanced details. And within the system we have some managed accounts. And here you see we have that managed account test. It's being auto managed. You can set this up to change every day, every 30, 60, 90 days. And you can also come in here and manually change it if you need to. So now that we've changed that password, I'm going to go into detail on how password safe actually does that. 
So we use what's called a functional account. Now we don't do this with an endpoint installed on that system. We do that with an, a separate account on that system. And here I'm using the administrator account as what's called our functional account. And the only function that account really performs is to change the account or change the password of other accounts that it's managing. And how it does that is specifically for this platform, we have something called custom platforms. And you can come into these platforms and build out the response that that meets that password change requirements over CLI. So what we're looking at here, and you see we have a ton of platforms that we support out of the box as well, but specifically for Cisco ICE, there's a couple of unique steps that happen. So we'll log in with that functional account or that administrator account in this case, and then it's going to after that login, it's going to expect a couple of statements, and then you can send it to either go to other statements, depending on what is presented in that command prompt. So you're pretty much just saying, hey, I know how to change this password over the CLI. Now I can just build it into our tool. And that's that's what I've done here. And with the Cisco ISC tools, they will prompt you if you do have an existing session open. So I kind of prepared for that and I said, yeah, let's just use the existing session, which you enter one to use it. And then I just send the standard application password change command. Maybe typo there, sorry. The application password change command. And then I'm just sending, it's gonna ask me to enter my new password. And then I'm gonna send it my managed account password. Now this is actually a variable as you can see, we have a lot of variables to select from that we can say, hey, give me a brand new generated managed account password, and then use that to populate it into these command prompts. And it's going to ask me to confirm that, expect it, and then I'm going to send the response and that same password. And then it's going to tell me my password was reset successfully from the CLI, and then that'll tell password safe to finish with success and run that exit command. For what I call the normal prompt workflow is where there's nobody, no existing account signed in and you just log in and it gives you the standard prompt. And if you go back up here to our jump statements, it's just, if you expect a prompt after login, you're gonna go to this normal prompt, right here, normal prompt. And since it doesn't need to really do anything other than pass the application reset password ISE command, and again, this is also using a variable and we are setting it actually as the managed account name because it's going to want to enter the managed account name of the password it wants to reset. And then it's going to say, okay, hey, enter your password and we're going to pass it the managed account new password variable. Same with this as well. And then it's going to say password successfully reset. We can also have error, error handling as well. So we can get very complex if, if needed for any kind of password workflow, password change workflow 